Alright, so I watched an anime recently called Under Ninja. I am perplexed, vexed, and mildly aroused. This anime is definitely a mess which I would not recommend, but it does have a, a few great clips for when one needs to make jokes about how random anime gets. I don't think this is a ringing endorsement, but if it works for you, go nuts. What is it about? Following the defeat in this alternative history Earth, Japan is stable on the surface, but beneath is a raging, turbulent storm a-brewing. Ninjas are hidden everywhere, there is a saying that one could randomly throw a stone and hit a ninja, and some are loyal to the government, while others are loyal to the cause. The civil war is on the horizon, and the UN is ready to step in and reap the country of the rising sun for itself. Oh, I felt dirty writing this, it ever sounds like the coolest thing or the most edgelord story ever told. Either way, it's kinda in between. What did I enjoy? The random nature of a household life in this ninja world. The first few episodes are so very confusing, sometimes being very funny and sometimes showing deadly action. This was pretty enjoyable. I doubt that rewatch it, it again and again, but for the time being I enjoyed the ride. Actually, the sheer randomness of plot twists is pretty amusing. There are just so many of them, but it can only get so far. Which means that I run out of positive things to say. What did I dislike? How deadpan everything is. The story is supposed to be a comedy. Maybe dark, maybe not constantly laugh out loud hilarious, but this is not a comedy. But neither can I actually look at it seriously. It's as if whoever wrote this was stewing in a basement, mad at the world, wishing he was a cool ninja involved in this secret society, conspiracies and all sorts of Deus Ex style stuff. But they were neither JC Denton nor Adam Jensen, so they just lashed out with this edgelord writing. Then the editor checked in and went, Hey buddy, this is kinda dark. Mind lighting up a little? They publish stuff for kids here. Nobody would buy Edgelord Illuminati fanfic number 451. And so this random style of humor was introduced. Badly. Because the writer doesn't have a sense of humor. Instead, it's the editor randomly laughing to ease up the tension of sitting in the same room with this weirdo. And this was taken as a joke. Okay, I might have went a bit so far, but, well, checking the Wikipedia page, this writer seemingly has a thing for ultra-violence and mixing it with ordinary life. So, it's just me being a fellow weirdo, but this entire thing feels dark and mean-spirited. Yet, not really interesting, either. The constant plot twists make for terrible storytelling as well, and none of the characters feel like they give a shit about anything. Really, the only memorable one is Ata who is a wimpy kid who tried to steal underwear from the ditzy drunk. And the only reason he's memorable is because he sticks out like the only sane person in all this. And uh, uh, let's call her a villain. She is like the only muscular woman... Uh, she's like the only muscular woman in, uh, in the anime ever. There are definitely others, but boy are they rare. I just don't know what else to say here. This is so uncomfortable and yeah, I I would not recommend it. <laughs>